Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rain Plays Castlevania Araya of Sorrow. Now, between the last episode and this one, I collected quite a bit of stuff. And opened up a few rooms that I probably shouldn't have off camera. But I didn't actually take anything from them. Now, I did get two specific fun weapons. If I can get him in range, that is. The, the uh, Mach Punch, which is a double-hitting double hitting melee or uh, punch weapon, martial arts weapon. And then its counterpart, the Whip Knuckle, which is a stronger but one hit. Uh, we are now also... Level 45. Oh, uh, I figured I should bring this up as well. All Rox's suit was what was behind the door. I'm taking too many pointless hits. It's what was behind the uh, wall. Throws wheels at enemies. Okay. Um. It was. It is what was behind the wall with the wrecking ball at the top floor, uh, or at the top floor of the arena here. So now that we have, uh, now that I'm actually on camera, um, hmm, where is it? There we are. I did quite a bit of soul farming as well. But it doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. Because, you know, they just keep hitting me anyways. Um, yeah. So, here we are again at the waterfall. Now, there are a number of methods you can use to actually get through here. Either way, you need Undyne. And the easiest soul I got for this <clears throat> was Curly. Now, hold R. And apparently, I wasn't moving fast enough. Hold on. Let's try this from over here. And we get the Eversing, which is the strongest technical armor for normal mode. And we have an area switch. I wonder what this could be. Forbidden area. Well. Maybe we should go back. No, we aren't going back, obviously. Ow, Mudman. Die, Mudman. You don't belong in this world. Finally, I get to use that. Finally. Oh, my lord. Oh, God, Mudman. They're kind of dicks. Um, however, this is the Forbidden Area. This is also the resting place of one of the best weapons of this, well, the best weapon of normal mode. However, before that, we're going to hit a switch, open a door, and temporarily come back into the study. Oh, Bone Pillar died. Slide kick and get the Ancient Book 1. Item use. And we can go down and see here. The first spirit is a demon from Hellfires. That is something special, which I will get to its actual purpose and what it's getting at when we get to that point in the game. Well, we aren't far off, I'll tell you that right now, but yeah, it's still something that needs to wait. And I'm starting to feel like I'm at least mildly overpowered for where I am.
Oh good, I didn't take that hit. Wow. I'm quite amazed. And it's a boat! Okay, and we need the Skula Soul. Lol, killer fish. Like, level one enemy. Or, yeah, about a level one enemy. Oh, what could this be? It's a breakable wall. And what could that be? Well. Mental Gen, I introduce you to the Claim Soleus. This is by far the best sword in the game. It murders stuff. Okay, let's see, was there anything actually in this direction? Yes, there was. Ha. Uh, Ah. Uh, yes, this weapon is both faster than faster than the Longinus spear. And at the same time, it is also stronger and gives us more stat boosts in different areas. Freaking mudmen. Um Now, I'm also aware that I've missed a few other hidden rooms and areas throughout this that I need to go back and get in all technicality. Oh my god, five million rippers. However, there's one important little guy right here. That was a mimic. And this is a joy use. Which is a sword made out of gold doesn't do much for us. Claim Soleus. Which is likely the weapon I'll be using for the rest of the game. LOL. I love doing that. Uh, let me check my map here, make sure I'm not missing any extra points on the area. Ooh, what is that? I'm clearly missing a room that I should not be missing. There are also some hard mode and other mode only weapons that I will get to eventually, but we can't do much about those just yet. Yeah, I already have a flame demon soul. That's one of the ones I got off screen. Wait. Flame demon? The first spirit is a demon from Hellfires. Flame demon. Huh. Yes, I'm messing with you guys. Yes, that is the that is mm, the soul mentioned. Blah, blah 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 blah. Speak words, Rain. That is in fact the soul mentioned. Oh shoot. In speak words, okay. Uh, that is the soul mentioned in the ancient book one. Uh. So now that we have this, um, we're actually headed back to the chapel, as far as I know. Where we are gloriously overpowered. Um, won't be needing that anymore. Headhunter. We. Lol, 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 one-shotting worthless lobby enemies. Um, 
I think I just picked up an uncursed potion, but... Yep. Uh, shoot. Were we going back to the chapel, or was it the dance hall? Huh. I think it's the dance hall. However, well, we're picking up the hard pendant and clearing this room out just for the sake of... Just for the sake of completionism. Because we need that map percent. Pick up another evil butcher. Stab a dude. Stab another dude. Double jump. Jump, jump, and jump more. Yeah, we're headed to the chapel. Uh, hmm. Wow, I can't believe we've already hit 11 minutes. Yay, talking about recording times outside of the episode. Oh, I know where, I think I know where I'm supposed to be going here. Yeah, we have this weapon, it one-shots most things. Just, oh, I miss picking up that spear. Of, which isn't quite very useful at this point, but hey, it, it's still a spear and something possibly sellable. Now, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go straight up. Is this the right one? No, this isn't. Drop kick. Well, well, a kick that drops us downwards, not an actual drop kick. What are gargoyles doing up here, I wonder? Okay, that's nothing of value. Ah, here we go. The tall hammer. It's a hammer that deals electricity damage. You're not missing much. But hey, uh, let's see here. What else are we missing? Yes. Yeah, another backtrack episode, guys. Deal with it. Oh, I can't wait for a specific thing. Also, I am correct about uh, Kicker Skeleton being a common Rider reference. I looked up his drops, um, and he drops an Ancient Belt, which is common Rider 1's belt. Well, it, it may also alternately be Kuga or Blacks, but that's, that's a different topic entirely, and no, not supposed to be uh, right here supposed to be over here. Lol, 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 ow. Hey, level design, screw you. Okay, that's a high potion. That's a high mind, or that's a high mind up. Neither of which we need, but hey, just completing a section of the map for the sake of completion. Lol. Um. Okay. Let's see. No, a button. I did not want you. So, we have that portion of the map completed. Now, there is one more area that we do need to go that I just spotted that I'm hoping we can finally get to. I'm probably immensely late. So, let me outline it for you. It's right here. Unless if that's a link up to one of these rooms, but eh, who knows. 
we're at 15 minutes now. Just for those of you curious or keeping track. Or me, because, you know, I'm... I'm recording and watching Bandicam's readout at the same time. This episode is approaching 300 megabytes. Thank you, Bandicam, for small file sizes. Were this in fraps, it would be about 3 gigs by now. Anyways, that's about all for this episode, so take it easy. This is Rain, signing off.